Hey there, fellow Fallout 4 players. I have a pretty cool little video for you today. How to get your very own little pet mole rat for your Red Rocket settlement in Fallout 4. I actually don't know if this is a glitch or intentional on the part of the game developers, but it's definitely an Easter egg. <laughs> we'll be using the hidden mole rat at the Red Rocket as our first specimen in our petting zoo. If you don't know what I mean by the hidden mole rat at the Red Rocket, then definitely pause this video and check out the how to throw grenades and place mines in Fallout 4 video that I posted a couple of weeks ago. You should be seeing an annotation for that, and I will also put a link in the description and the iCard top right. In the comments section of that video, I joked with one of my viewers about how cool it would be if you could have a mole rat as a pet, and that's where I came up with the idea for this video. Okay, let's get into it. What I did first was create a very rudimentary fence system around where the secret mole rat spawns. I'm not at all good at building yet, still very much into the adventuring and leveling portion of the game. There are going to be some Fallout 4 builders out there who are going to be able to do some wildly creative things after watching this video, and that's sort of the whole purpose of me posting this. What I basically did to show off this concept was build a few fences and gates in order to cordon off the area around these old gas pumps. As you can see, some of them open up. Definitely a shoddy job, I know. Base building is a little challenging on a console, so look past my ratchet craftsmanship here. <laughs> this is a great example of where PC gaming takes the cake. But I'm playing on an Xbox One, so when I get a little better at it, I'm gonna come back and really build an awesome playpen for them. Okay, then what I did was add a ladder just to make it easier to show you guys how this works. Not really necessary, just a better vantage point, that's all. You're really only gonna need some fence building materials and a grenade to pull this off. The next step is to simply toss a grenade into the center of this little menagerie here, and there we go. Our little buddy pops up out of the ground and is immediately secured in the enclosure. For some reason, he won't ever burrow back below ground. I think mole rats and fallout are basically scripted to go up only. <laughs> But anyway, he's gonna be a little freaked out knowing he's just been trapped in a cage. So cut him some slack. He's actually kind of cute. I think I'm gonna name him Pinky. <laughs> All right, well, let's see if uh, he'll eat anything. He might be hungry. He's probably not a carnivore, but let's see if he'll eat some potted meat. I actually talked about what potted meat is in my very first YouTube video ever on Dishonored. I'll put a little link for that video in the description below. But anyway, uh, yeah, don't want to give him any mole rat chunks. He's not a cannibal. Jeez, have some manners. <laughs> okay, I guess he doesn't want to use his teeth as a can opener. How about... Here, let's give him a Tato. That's actually what mole rats eat. I talked about mole rats being real in my last trivia walkthrough in the mole rat den, so you'll have to check out that video. Oh, and in case you're new to the school zone, I give video game factoids about the real world within the context of my playthroughs. That's the special sauce of the school zone. Here's an example of one of those factoids. In real life, mole rats primarily eat tubers, which are vegetables where the roots are basically the bulk food source. Potatoes are a perfect example of a tuber. Although in the case of the tato in Fallout 4, I think it's actually a hybrid between a tomato and a potato. But anyway, let's see if he'll eat that. Man, it's so hard to pick things up in Fallout 4. So unpredictable like that sometimes. Come on, come on. There we go. All right, I'm a silly fool, I know. I guess he's still in shock. Oh well, we'll leave it for him there in case he wants to munch on it later. <laughs> he won't attack you if you approach him unless you get really, really close and provoke him. But he is a wild animal, so you don't want to try and pet him and risk catching rabies. <laughs> but if you back him into a corner like any wild animal, he will attack you. Hey, look. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, just wanted to show you guys this fun little video on how to get your very own pet mole rat in Fallout 4. Now, please keep in mind that I didn't say a traveling companion don't want anyone to accuse me of clickbait. Little Pinky here is only capable of being a wild pet at your Red Rocket settlement. He's not like Snuffles from Fallout New Vegas. In fact, I may be the first Fallout 4 YouTuber to come up with this idea. 
That would be a cool little distinction to have, but here's what I'd like to do. I know there are some fantastic Fallout 4 builders out there who would love to know this. So be sure to share this video around and let them know that you learned this on the Schooled Zone. When they've done something creative with the idea, tell them to come back to this video and post a link to their video showing off any fun, crazy, or elaborate ideas they come up with down in the description. Now, normally YouTube filters out any comments with hyperlinks included, but what I'll do for this video is watch any video links that you guys send, and if you give the School Zone a shout out in your video for the idea, then I'll approve the video link so others can see all your creative building talents down in the comments section. For some of the really advanced builders out there, I can imagine some amazingly creative things can be done with this. For example, not only could you build a really decorative playpen for Pinky or whatever you want to name him, but it might even be possible to create a little maze that he could run around in around the settlement. I've seen videos of people who have created running tracks for their real life pets that extend all throughout their house. Up high, down low, you name it. And for the really patient out there, I can see how this concept could even extend to other animals. I don't know if it would work, but you might even be able to lure other animals back to your settlement and trap them in your petting zoo if you build like a proper luring bottleneck. Mongrels, mutant hounds, that sort of thing. Maybe even a Yao Guai. You know, just for the lulls. I don't condone forced animal captivity in real life, but in a video game like this, it would be freaking hilarious to see. Anyway, if you guys found this video helpful or just fun, smack that like button and share it around. And if you want to watch my other gaming tutorials or my Fallout 4 trivia walkthrough series, I'll leave links in the description and the iCard above. Thanks again for watching. Peace out.